What is up, uh, everybody? Uh, welcome to another video. It's been a little bit since I posted a video. Um, there haven't been really a lot of Nike releases coming out. Um, so I just wanted to take this time to kind of make this video. Um, I have a question for you guys, actually, to start this off. Um, so I have some cleats, some boots here. And I'm not going to sell them because they're going to stay in my collection. But I did join this uh, Facebook um, community, I guess. So I think that's what it's called, where people buy and sell cleats. And um, I'm trying to obviously always add to my collection that you see here. I got this huge collection here um, of sneakers and soccer cleats. Um, so I'm always looking to find a deal or something like that, you know, snag something that I might not have had in the past or something that I'm just looking to get. Um, but with that being said, guys, I have some cleats here that were, came out in 2006 for the World Cup. Um, I don't know if I've ever talked about them really recently. I know I haven't. They might have made an appearance in a video uh, way back. Um, but I just want to let I just want you guys to tell me what do you think these are worth? Now, obviously, not in great condition. But I don't think they're too bad for what they are. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I almost fell into my shoes. Um, oh, oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Now I'm starting to see the flaws in the shoe. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, someone offered to buy these for me, but I just can't let them go. But I just noticed right now, this just changed my whole video, my whole perception on the shoe. Um, here, let me put this up here. Let me show you guys. So already, as you can see, look, it's starting to, I don't know if it's going to pick the camera will pick that up, but it's starting to come apart here. So that probably decreases the value a little bit, I would think. No, probably a lot. But I mean, granted, for what the shoe is, I think it's in pretty good condition. Um, if you ask me, it's not dirty. It's not ripped. There's no holes in it. You know, I really don't wear out my shoes that much rather it's sneakers or, or cleats anyway um but like these are going to stay in my collection so i'm just i was just curious to know what you guys think this is worth what would you pay for this cleat let's say it was in good perfect condition where maybe just tried on or just never used and it wasn't coming apart maybe i could get that re-glued i guess or who knows? It could have. I don't know. I would say maybe it came like that, but there's no way. There is no way. I mean, I didn't notice that when I wore them. Um, but these are very special to me just because this was, I believe, my third high end boot that I ever had. First, my first high end boot was the, uh, the Mercurial from the World Cup of that year, 2006. Um, and that was like the Brazil colorway, the Ronaldo colorway, the yellow with the green. Fortunately, if you, I've said in previous videos, I gave those away to someone who needed them. Um, I regret it. They were half size small. I regret giving away just because I could have kept them in my collection. Um, but if he needed them, whatever, so be it. Um, and then I had some, some Mercurial 4s. And I've had the in these. These are gonna stay with me forever, just because, like I said. And also, all the my first top end, top end models that I was buying, I was able to buy with my own money. So, working. So that meant something to me, you know. Um, obviously, when we grow up, our parents buy us everything, and you know, I never really was invested in soccer cleats back then as much. The highest my mom paid for me was ninety bucks for Mexican brand shoes. Um, so once I got into Nike and researching, you know, boots more and got more into the game of football, soccer, wherever you call it, <laughs> or however we call it, wherever we're from, um, you know, and then I started reach, researching the, the boots and stuff like that. And then, you know, I kind of come to like those as well, not just sneakers. So I'm, I'm double screwed, part of my language, is, um, because I like sneakers and, and boots. So, but yeah, so that's, those are going to be something that are going to stay in my collection forever. I don't think I could put a price on them, but what, what would you pay for those actually? Or what would you pay for a brand new pair? 
Uh, I did see a brand new pair going on eBay, I believe, for $2,000. Brand new pair, supposedly. So that's kind of cool. Now, they did make a um, lower tier version. Looks almost the same. Probably not the same. That's all kangaroo leather. I don't know what the other version was. Um, so with that being said, since we're talking cleats, I kind of had another topic that I wanted to cover really quick before I go. Um so as you know the new mercurial was released in february that's i think that i'm pretty sure that's when we got our first the first colorway that that white um and colorful distressed or well i don't know whatever the off-white vibe shoe um so we got that colorway and now we've had six colorways and we are only in june about to be july um but we've had six colorways we have we had that white one we had the black, we had the bright crimson, um, the safari, um, the Ronaldo Dream Speed one, and then now we have that like blue. I don't, I can't remember. I did a video on them. I don't remember the exact color. So, my question to you guys, or what do you guys think? Is that a little too much? Now, I w in the past six six colors might have been the whole entire line before they killed it off. Um, in the past, but now you're getting one, <laughs> you're getting one, let's see, February, March, April, May, June. Four months have passed, and we already have six colorways. Um, we talked about this before, and, 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 and how they're just bombarding us with colors. Are you one of the people that has to stay up to date? Um, do you, do you, are you, are you just saying, no, I'm going to wait for the next color, to me, I still believe I I don't know nothing about um, Nike's how how they run stuff and how they figure out that hey let's make a new color release a new color because I'm pretty sure they're not just making colors just because obviously us people were buying them or or they're not costing a lot to make so they're not really losing money but I haven't seen a lot of I haven't seen a lot of top end cleats make it to outlets. I saw the GT, the Phantom GT, those have made it to outlets, but Mercurials, Temples, those I've not seen them in this, in where I live in my area. Um, so therefore, some boots are making them, making it to the outlets, but the Mercurials, six colors in four months. I still believe that they should uh, use a certain color for a Superfly and a certain color for the mercurial vapor and maybe that kind of helps people decide what boot they want but when they're making the same exact color for both i don't know i buy the superfly just because i don't even know why i have like two or three superfly but i i prefer the vapor i really prefer the the low cut um i don't really need that extra and it's very minimal at this point now it's very low and it's very minimum and you're paying the fifteen dollar premium price, or I don't know. It's, it's, it might be my maybe for with my discount it was the fifteen dollar difference, but I'm pretty sure it's more. So don't quote me on that. Sorry, I get confused um using numbers with my discount and stuff. Um. So yeah. So my point is basically, you know, is Nike or Adidas and Puma are they doing the same thing too? I believe you know they're releasing um. Uh, boots more often and more colorways all the time and I don't know how people keep up with it I don't know if you care to my idea what I wanted to do going forward now I'm going to talk about my channel the channel a little bit and the direction I want to kind of go um, going forward I was thinking let's say a new silo comes out the temple 9 is going to release so I might just purchase the first one that comes out and then if the new colors are going to release, obviously, maybe I just kind of talk to talk about them on a screen or or show without actually purchasing the boot, because I'm going to be honest and I, I can't keep building this collection up. I'm going to have rows and rows. I'm going to have, you know, I, I, I don't want to be like that. Honestly, you know, I kind of already look at my shoes and look up and down and say I have too many. So I, but I, obviously I love to talk about shoes. So therefore I have to keep. I want to keep doing that and building the channel, so I'm going to find out a way to be able to speak about the shoe without having to buy it 
or maybe I just buy it and return it. You know, I I, I don't know. But I, I do plan on purchasing the first one of each new silo that comes out. So when the Mercurio 15 comes out or the Superfly 9 comes out, I will buy the first one and then uh, maybe just um, go on different colors, buy the colors, return them, or just talk about them on screen. You know, something, something, because I still want to talk about the shoes. And this may um, help me do uh branch out and do other um brands as well such as puma adidas i don't know if it'll hit i don't know if you guys will like that stuff but you know this is all i got right now and this and i'm not gonna keep i'm not gonna be purchasing more and getting more you know piling up more i can't there's only a, a certain amount of racks that'll fit so i'm not gonna be purchasing boots all the time no more um uh and uh, with all the different colorways, I was thinking about like Nike going forward with the Mercurial line at least. Probably just ID and making up my own pair, one pair, and sticking with that pair. Other than the release, the launch way, launch colorway, and showing you guys that. And I'll do that with you know each silo going forward or something like that, where I could just design my own color and and, and design my own um, boots. I think that'd be fun. So that's something I'm trying to do for the future because, like I said, I want this channel to keep growing, but I don't want to keep investing in piling up shoes. I still have boots behind the camera, shoes behind the camera, you know, shoes everywhere right now. And I don't want that. I don't I don't want to be that person. I'm being honest. I'd like to think with sneakers, I've hit my plateau almost of all the shoes that I want or I've ever wanted. Pretty sure I have about 90 percent of all the shoes that I want. And now, you know, I'm just fighting myself and telling myself that I don't need that shoe going forward. I can buy it, but why? You know what I'm saying? If it's not, what was the point of ha owning more shoes? I'm trying to get that mindset just just for my own sake, you know, because I don't know. I just think it's better for me to not want every single shoe. And I got to do that with um, the cleats as well. But hopefully you guys will support me and keep watching me. And now I feel like I'm ranting and talking too much. <laughs> Um, so with that being said, guys, stay tuned for more videos. Of course, like always, I'm still going to be around. I'm still going to make videos. I hope you guys will support me in uh, whatever new journey I take it, but we're still going to talk about boots. We're still going to do play tests. We're still going to do all of that. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more videos and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.